Hi, we're going to talk about how to create your favorite orders. <clears throat> favorite orders are, are great because they can be reused. So in order to create favorite orders, one would click on the Orders tab and then click on the Add button. And that would open up the Search Orders box. Uh, and where you would see the, if you click on this Home icon, you'll see the System's Favorite Orders. And if you click on the Star, you would see your personal favorite orders. Now I've created a bunch of folders um, here. So to review, how would you create an order that is yours, that is your favorite? So let's say you were searching for CBC. Okay, and I typed CBC in the search box. What if this you wanted to create this as your favorite order? So you could right click on the CBC with diff and say add to favorites. And what happens is, at that stage, a add to favorite window opens and it asks which folder would you like me to place this favorite order in. And one could select labs if you had a favorite folder called labs, but if you didn't, you just leave it on your favorite root folder called favorites and click OK. And that order has been added to your favorite orders. So at this stage, you could click on this favorites yellow star and note that, and to verify that, that CBC is, um, with diff, is in your favorite folder. And it, notice it's sitting on the root folder. Um, and so now, what if we wanted to take this CBC and move it into our labs, right? The way to do that is to click on this little black triangle, inverted, and and go to organize favorites okay and once you click organize favorites you will see that all your favorites are here you can click plus and minus to open and close these folders I've certainly created a lot of favorite folders and um, I find that these folders are useful however we were going to talk about moving the CBC down here into the folder called labs so if I, the way to do that is to select the CBC, which is now it's dark blue, and you click Move to Folder, this button, and it will ask you which folder do you want to move the CBC to, in which case I would select Labs and click OK. And so now notice the CBC is gone from the root folder and it's now found, if you click the plus sign, the CBC is now found in the Labs folder. Okay, and along with it, you have a bunch of other orders. So, um, one can always create folders by clicking this Create Folders button, and one can call this, for instance, anything that you would like. Maybe this would be called uh, Microbiology 2, because I already have a microbiology folder. And I click Enter, and it, now I've created a new folder called Microbiology 2. Now that I've cre created my folder, maybe I want to I want to delete the original microbiology folder. So I click the microbiology folder here, and I click delete. It will say, "Are you sure you want to delete the current folder and all its favorite items inside?" And I will say yes. So now I've deleted the old microbiology folder and created a new one. Um, so similarly, you can use these buttons to delete, add, move orders. So click close. And then, of course, just to kind of demonstrate the point, let's say I want a sputum culture. So I go and search for sputum culture. I right-click on the sputum culture, and I say Add to Favorite. And now I see that there I've created a microbiology folder down here. I'll highlight that. I'd like to put the sputum culture into the microbiology folder. I'll click OK, and then click Done. Actually, it wouldn't need to click Done. You just click on your Favorites folder and click microbiology too and notice sputum culture is there. Another place to uh, add orders, um, an example could be admit to inpatient admission status. So if I was to go and search for admission status and notice there's an admission status order. I could click on the admission status order and I could select the order sentence for inpatient and click OK and then click done. Okay, at this stage, I might say I'm going to discharge a patient to home. That's most of the time what happens. So I'm satisfying all details of this order, uh, as well as the diagnosis. Let's say they're here for cellulitis. 
all details will get copied, including the diagnosis details for admission status order. Now, prior to signing this order, you can right-click on the order called admission status and click Add to Favorites. Okay, And again, the same window opens as prior where you can add the order to your root folders and click OK. And and then right, we don't need to sign this order in place, so I just click Remove. Because I don't really want to sign it, I'm just creating a favorite. At this stage, that order did get saved to your favorites. So if you and to see it, you would click Add. You would click your favorites yellow colored star. And if you notice, in the root folder, there is an order called Admission Status. And it is already defaulted to an inpatient. So it's an admission status that has been saved as an inpatient. So in order to now use your favorite, you would simply click on that order once to select it, then click Done. And notice, at this stage, you don't have to answer any more questions. It's been pre-configured with all the answers. And so that is how you would manipulate and save orders to your favorites. These are single orders that one can create and, and one can also manipulate from this Organize Orders button. Likewise, you can right-click on any order and say Remove from Favorites, in which case that order is gone from your favorites. And uh, one can easily add and subtract favorite orders. Thank you.